am Kat Locke. I'm with Uncovering Oklahoma today for a Midtown Fashion Crawl for Spring. I'm with Lawn here at New Avenue. I'm gonna ask her some questions as I read them off of somebody else's phone. <laughs> First off, so what is New Avenue? Like, why is it N-H-U? What is it? Okay, so I'm Vietnamese. Um, New is actually my father's name. Um, okay. He's always been kind of my inspiration behind anything I do um, and kind of always given me that drive to kind of push for what I want to do and for my dreams and whatnot. So I know in opening the store, I definitely wanted to tie his name into the store. And also it, you know, has a little Vietnamese flair to it. So I like that too. Love. Yeah. Okay. Um, and what is like... If you were telling a stranger, what is the vibe? I mean, it's very chic in here. What would you tell people that they would see if they came in here? So our our store definitely caters to more of the young professional and then to the more mature customer. Everything, when you walk in, is gonna be very clean. Uh, clean lines, it's gonna be laid out, so there's not gonna be a lot of cluster whenever you walk in. And that is the whole idea of the store, is we wanted something that was shoppable for the mom, for the stay-at-home mom, for the working woman. You know, when they come in here, they feel comfortable, relaxed when they're shopping, and they're not overwhelmed. Love that, and I am, I am wearing an outfit that I tried on. I'm very into a snakeskin moment, so <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> it's what I immediately grabbed. Um, okay, so when, how long have you been open? So we are going on three years this year. September 8th will be our third year anniversary here in Midtown and in the store. Okay, what made you pick here, Midtown, Oklahoma City? versus other locations. Yeah. Um, I'm actually not from Oklahoma City. Um, I moved back here after I married my husband, which was also my best friend from college. Um, and he's from Oklahoma City. So okay. he knew a lot about the area. Um, we looked tons and tons of places. Um, and we really wanted a place that had room to grow and that had potential. We didn't want to go somewhere where it kind of already was the end thing and it was going to plateau. Right. Um, and so Midtown was really kind of our sweet spot. Um, and it took us about a year to finally get in this place um, and to kind of figure out the logistics of it. But we couldn't be more happy being in, in Midtown. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. definitely Midtown's like thriving yeah, for right sure. now. Um, Think what makes this place unique? I think you already answered like mm -hmm. cluster free. It's very clean, very clean mm -hmm. in here. I love it. Um, I feel comfortable being barefoot. Um. <laughs> <laughs> um, is there anything else you would like people to know? Um, we also do a lot of one-on-one -on -one styling. Um, we have a lot of customers that don't have time for that. Like I say, a lot of our customer base is definitely the busy woman, whether she's you know, um, catering to her family or whether she's vacationing in Europe for a couple months or whether she's just a career woman and doesn't have time to really shop for herself. We have a lot of customers that will come in here that will ask for that one-on-one -on -one attention for us to really create a wardrobe for them for the season. So I think that really kind of makes us stand out from some other boutiques. Um, and it's not just because we like fashion. Um, I come from a a extensive background with styling um, and buying so that's something that I love to do and I feel like that is something that our customers love that we can offer in the store. We just stopped at New Avenue next up we're heading to Mode. I do not know Oklahoma City very well but I know Insomnia Cookies that's the place. I went on a date here once where he dug change out of his car to buy me a cookie. It's very endearing. Best cookies ever. If you are looking for some sweet new kicks, if you're a sneakerhead, uh, check out the laboratory here, very close to new, right by Insomnia. Stella, I've heard very good things about Stella. Oh, I've been to 1492. Maybe I do know this area. I had some really good nachos, which is probably not what most people order there but they were very good. Okay, this is chic. <gasps> These body suits, them short shorts. Oh, I'm gonna like this place. Those shoes. <laughs> Hello, baby. Here at Mode, our second shop of the day, I'm here with... My name is Amanda. And I'm Ivy. And so first off, what is Mode from an outsider point of view? 
So Mode is your go-to women's clothing boutique. Everything is super affordable. I like to keep it around the $35 to $40 range. Um, and I know when we first opened, people were shocked by that. Because sometimes you expect a boutique mm -hmm. to be over 100 Always on trend. We've always got the latest fashions, the latest trends. And we want to be a place where you can come and have some fun. Okay, so are you two partners? What's the... Oh no, so this is no? her baby. No. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Mode is my store, but Ivy has been with me for a while now. A while now. And she, okay. um, first I hired her on to work the floor, and now she's in charge of events and collaborations and all of that. Okay, how long have you been open? Um, April 23rd will be three years. Okay, mm -hmm. wow. Come so, and celebrate with us. It's going to be a big party. Oh, love, I will. Yeah, I'm yeah. a big, I'm, fun party. Yeah, okay, yeah. Really fun. I was going to ask what kind of events and stuff yeah, you definitely. do then. definitely. We try to do a lot of in-store, like Valentine's Day, um, things like that. We also take part in a lot of the Midtown activities, like Midtown Walkabout, mm -hmm. um, small shop, small business, things like that. Um, but for the birthday party, like she said, it's April 13th, mm -hmm. so everyone come, mark your calendars. Um, we're just going to have food, live music. Um, Jordan Law, who's a native Oklahoman, yes. is coming. Okay. Yes. And giveaways, so. freebies, and things like that. So. Awesome. Yeah. Yes. Okay, and what, um, you? they had me wear this. Because <laughs> I've been told this is the, the, the bold stripes yes. is mm -hmm. a popular bold, look for spring. Yeah, oh, yeah, bold stripes is a huge yeah, what else trend is for spring. Happening. What's for happening trends. right now for trends? Yes. Well, we've been doing a lot of anything leopard print. Like anything, this jacket also comes in leopard print. I believe it's actually sold out already. Really? Yeah. Anything snake print, and we have shoes and all of these prints too, and those are the first ones to go. Love. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then um, we always sell a ton of denim and shorts that are super distressed, like the raw hem, the, mm -hmm. the big holes in the jeans. People are still loving that. Um, jumpsuits. Um, we have a really cute one that's been a great seller, and the bottom of the legs flare out. And so, kind yeah, of the that, flare's coming back. Kind of that retro vibe is very in. Yeah, Something thank else God. Something just got in that I think is super cute right now is the hair clips. Oh, um, yeah. A lot of people, and you didn't mention this earlier, like Mo does a great job of selling like quick gifts, beauty things, accessories. Okay. I love whenever I, like, I last minute get invited to a birthday party and I'm like, okay, face masks, candle, bath bomb, earrings, let's go. Like, yes. I got it. Um, got but it. she just got some stock in of like those cute like pearl, like, um, I don't know, like jeweled hair clips that okay, I have yeah, yeah, yeah. in style that are really, really cute. Yeah, yes. it is. Thank God we have like leopard and snake skin yeah. coming back. I never <laughs> quit. <laughs> but, so now you're back on track. Now I'm like, back on track. I was ahead of the curve, apparently. You sure were. <laughs> okay, what else would you like the people of the world to know about your store? Well, Mode is a place where you can come and you can feel comfortable and you know come as you are and I even have people regulars who live around the area and come in to just you know check out the new stuff and I want them to just come and say hi I always tell them like don't feel like you have to buy anything just come and say hi and you know that let's put a smile on their face um, I don't ever want anyone to feel pressure and I think that my girls kind of know like I'm never pushing sales like let's right. just we're doing everything right then you know the business will be successful um, and then like I said earlier I want people to know like we are super affordable and we'll help yeah. you get dressed from head to toe so yeah. if you're like I need an outfit I need help like that's what my girls are here Love. for and we can help you with that and you had a dog just sitting in the doorway <laughs> oh, which was the yes. best thing the best like so that, hello <laughs> yeah that's Simba and he's kind of midtown famous actually <laughs> a lot of times people will tag on Instagram mode and it's literally just Simba and his little bandana and yeah he's a great little greeter he's so and sweet he's got a really good demeanor and he's really patient with the kiddos who are kind of like chasing him around sometimes um but yeah he adds a lot to the shop too whenever he's here I love that yeah <laughs> so follow Simba on Instagram this just it <laughs> okay I think that's it yeah, I think that's good yeah. I slept in this morning so we're leaving mode and I was like Dennis we have time, please, coffee. So we're gonna go to Hank's right next door. I'm David Goad. I'm uh, here with Daniel at uh, Trade Menswear. And uh, 
I just wanted to check out the shop. I uh, like what I see so far. You've got a vast array of very nice looking men's wear, including uh, beard products that I saw, saw over there. Mm -hmm. um, so what was the, the concept for opening the store? What made you open the store? I would go shopping with my wife and would remember back to going to men's stores with my grandfather mm. and how iconic they seemed at the time and over the last 20 or 30 years how they had moved away from the haberdashery style men's store to more big box retailers and felt that men's retail needed something better than yeah. just the the big box store that showed really unique cool items that you couldn't just find anywhere else. So we sought out for it and started as a pop-up, just a, an idea. And from that has been a brick and mortar that's just over five and a half years old. Wow, yeah. Um, you know, my memory of going and shopping for men's clothes is usually like going to the big box stores. And, you know, for the longest time, we didn't really have a lot of what you, uh, for lack of a better term, men's boutiques, mm -hmm. where one might go in and find specialty items or, you know, more uh, fitted clothing, not sort of like a one size fits all, but, you know, you have just, you know, you can get like a tailored outfit or anything like that. I didn't really have that. So uh, the presence is very welcome here. Um, and you say you've been here for five and a half years? Mm -hmm. In, in this spot specifically? So we've been in this location for five years. We started as a pop-up on Auto Alley for the first approximately six to nine months. Mm -hmm. Why this, why one, we tried out the concept and two, um, then once the concept had kind of been like, okay, we can do this, then it was waiting for the build out on this space. Yeah. And so as soon as the space was done, we moved in and have been here since. That's excellent. So, and like I said, you sell more than just men's clothing here. It's right. We clothing. do men's apparel, grooming, gift, and then some home stuff. So much like, you know, uh, a boutique of any kind. It's sort of exactly. like a, yes. Like any boutique that you would expect to see, just this is geared specifically more towards men. Um, we do carry some unisex stuff. So we're not being, so we are gender neutral on certain items, but as a whole, it's a gentleman's shop. Yeah, excellent. Yes, and, and I was observing some of the um, CT style shoes that you have over there. When I was a kid, you know, they came in gregarious colors. They weren't, you know, very, they weren't very friendly looking. It was more of just like the statement I have them. Those are very nice. So what, those are the original are basketball shoe from 1892. Yeah. So... It's Neiman Smith who wrote the rules for basketball in 1888, designed those shoes in 1892. There's a father and son that do estate sales. They came across the shoe. We have a friend that runs a style blog. So we, I mean, again, that's one of those unique things that you're not going to find those. Realistically, you won't find them at any mall. And yeah, I can verify. <laughs> like it, it is, it's a, it's a luxury item. But it's really the story behind it is so cool yeah. that these were the first basketball shoe from 1892 and we're one of a very few amount of retailers that actually have them you know and okc is not an obvious fashion destination it's growing it's definitely growing yeah and, and the tides historically for oklahoma city fashion has been something that's more function Yes. And more purpose. Yeah. And now people are getting further into this is what's on trend. And the confidence to be able to wear some of those things that are on trend. We can be more than just repressed Midwesterners. We can do it. <laughs> it's okay to look stylish. Yeah. I mean, it. there's a point of style where it really does boost a person's self-confidence yeah and that's what we're ultimately going for is those specific items that would be boosting their their confidence and the way i look at it is when someone's going for a job interview or they're going on their first date they always want to look their best and we want to provide the things for them to do that with 
Excellent. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of men here that need help with that. I um, mean, there's a lot of really <laughs> stylish guys out there, and, too. And yeah. They know what they want, and that's great. Yes. And grateful for your presence here, like I said. I, it's very nice. We just want to be that place that is humble, um, treat everybody with as much respect as we can, and help them fit into what they need. If you would like to accessorize your desk and your life, hit up Chirps and Cheers right across the street from New Avenue. Just get your look in check and then get your life in check. Or at least pretend. And we're heading to the next place. So I'm with Rachel. Tell us about yourself and your store. So the Black Centilla has been in Midtown for four years now. Okay. Our four year anniversary is coming up actually in April, so we're really excited about that. And um, we offer women's clothing sizes small to 5XL. So we're really passionate about fitting all women, not just our small people. We do also offer free hemming alterations. I know, it's so good. <laughs> um, sometimes we'll have really long dresses that a girl wants chopped off at her shoulder. Yeah. We can do that too. Little and legs yeah, exactly. matter too. It's exactly. <laughs> Um, dog friendly. We just like to have a really good time in here and fit all women to try to make them feel their best. And it looks like you have a lot of, um, like, Lawler. Some funny. Yeah, some really funny some gift fun items. things. These socks are hysterical. Yeah. Which the guys love to come in when they're shopping with their girlfriends or wives. And this is an ultimate, too. like, if you want to know what to buy your boyfriend for Christmas or birthday, because, like, who freaking knows? They're so, yeah. Funny socks. That's all they want. Yeah. That's all they ever want. Yeah. This is funny socks. We're trying to do some really things for the guys too. Yeah, I love that. You have some like silly books. I'm wearing this dress, which I like might purchase. I love it so much. I love it so much. And these glasses, which I can never find yellow heart shaped sunglasses. I have one pair that I had to order like online. So very happy about these. And this dress. So you've been here for four years. Yes. Okay, I love it. I love the free alterations and going up to 5X. What inspired you? Like, tell me about the name. What sure, is the name? So I wanted something unique to wear when you leave and you go home mm -hmm. and you're getting online and you know doing the Google search or searching on Facebook, one thing pops up. Yes. So um, Black Centilla is trademarked and licensed to where if you look for it, you will only find us. And um, we also kind of love to use the B and the S and do some funny hashtags yes. with it, like I Heart BS. We have some cups that we use that say mm -hmm. full of BS. Um, so we don't take ourselves too seriously here. And we, it's, we really just needed a weird S word <laughs> for this. So <laughs> it's not some magical story, it's just I needed a weird S right. word. Right, no, I love that. It's so important to like have something good to Google. Like my God-given name is Catlock. And Googling myself, it is always Kat Von D, Locket Foundation. Yes. The bane of my existence is <laughs> that foundation. And I'm like, can we cancel her? She's anti-vax. Can we just get rid of it already? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I very much, I love this place. So you can come here for a very cute dress. And you're wearing yeah. right now. Um, of course, I mean, I'm kind of wearing it all the time. Of course. But our new little cardigans in, some jeans. My new shoes are actually from Betsy King Shoes. So try to always help our other sister businesses in the neighborhood. Um, jewelry, little scarf, yeah. Yeah, so she actually. Accessories with the clothing. If you pan just right over here. Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> the mannequin. Man. Who know. wore it better? Vote below. <laughs> Dolly did not me. She did. I don't know. This I like this better than the just like headless look. It's Is that in for true. spring? Headless, you know, to each their own. It's <laughs> it's whatever makes you feel the best, sure. Okay, so what else would you like the viewers to know about your store? We're open seven days a week. Um, we also do complimentary gift wrapping. Some of the guys come in. We can wrap all the presents for them. We have wish lists, so a lot of women will come in. They have their wish list filled out, and when a guy needs to come in, we can help them out. That's amazing. Um, we are huge supporters of Midtown and our neighborhood. Really passionate about shopping local, keeping mm -hmm. our tax dollars here, and supporting our neighborhood as much as possible. Okay, I love it. Come here to buy your significant other gifts. That's like, definitely key for that. Okay. I think we're good. 
I'm Evan English and I'm the owner here at Opolis Clothing and we just kind of wanted to show you the fire station. So we walk in and we, this is kind of our Oklahoma section. We have it broken out in the store a little bit through what you're looking for. So we have OKC, OU, OSU, and Oklahoma Designs. And we try to give you something that you're not gonna find at any arena, a more of a lifestyle vibe, something that you'd throw on and wear to Blue Garden or Fassler, or somewhere you're gonna walk to and just wanna be repping your city or your team. So. This is the old fire station. We tore out um, the garage doors. This is actually where they parked the trucks. That's one of the questions we normally get. And then we replaced it with these garage doors. And the only problem is Wi-Fi and any sort of drilling into the wall. But other than that, we were loving being in the fire station. We have all of our OKC designs up on this wall. And then we put uh, OU on in this area and we have some cool, you kind of can't tell because the shirts are in the way, but all the benches are actually from the stadium. And we had a guy that hooked us up with those when they were tearing the old ones out and replacing with new ones. So it's a pretty cool piece of memorabilia we have in the store. We have, this used to work and we would put the score of the games up there, but it is shockingly hard to find bulbs for a 1980s basketball scoreboard, as I'm sure you can tell. This, we try to make the store feel like what your room felt like when you were a teenager. So we have uh, the Dennis Rodman wedding day design. We have a He-Man Masters of the Universe and any sort of wrestling or trophy that we had as kids, we kind of brought back out to relive our own childhood. And people come in here and often just look at the toys and talk through what it makes them think about. So that's kind of, that was kind of our mission with the store was to give you a little bit of nostalgia to go with the vibe of the t-shirts. Here are our hats and we kind of, once again, it's all Oklahoma City or 89ers. I don't know how many of you rolled down the hill at 89ers Stadium, but it was definitely the place to be as a little kid. So. We brought that back and it's been one of our biggest sellers. We have had multiple um, of the Abner 89ers or the people who had played on the team come in and get the hat, which was pretty cool to see. Um, this obviously is the main piece. It is Barry being carried off the field. It is, I don't know how many people have tried to buy it off of us, which I don't know where you would put that, but. It is one of my favorite pieces in the store because I feel like it gives it a little bit of a different vibe. We have our kids, all of our kids stuff so that your kid can be styling and uh, go to the game and make sure they're representing their favorite player, team, whatever they're looking for. This is the ping pong table. We love people to come in on Saturdays and Sundays and play ping pong and hang out. We serve mimosas. We just want it to be a really good neighborhood friendly vibe and we found that if we put ping pong tables and have beer pong or ping pong or whatever going on, then everybody stayed longer and it was a really good neighborhood feel. Then once that got out of hand because everyone loved it, we bought a pop -a shot where you can shoot and if you beat the high score, you get 25% off your order. However, that is super hard to do because I swear our <laughs> college boy employees just practice because the high score is almost unbeatable. But we have an NBA Jam machine um, because who doesn't love NBA Jam? And then finally Nick and Russ in their uh, white men can't jump outfits as the dressing room curtain. And then sadly, I bought a signed autographed Durant jersey uh, in June before the July that he left. So the only thing we could think to do was hang it upside down because I couldn't stand putting it in a closet. So that's pretty much the store. Most people's number one question when they walk in and ask if this is a fire station is do we still have the poles? As you can see, we do still have both poles. And we actually live in the other 2,500 square feet that is not the store. So we kept the poles. We've converted it to a house as much as humanly possible. The one thing that is super strange is 
my two daughters slide down these poles to go to school, which is actually pretty fun. So we've started racing and they have never won. So that's it for us here at Opolis Clothing. We invite you to come down in Midtown and see us. Have a mimosa, play some ping pong, see if you can beat us at Papa Shot. See you next time. I'm David Goat from Collie Raw. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, we had a fun time with Daniel. Uh, it's always a blast with him. He has the softest beard. Uh, it's a fine midtown day here. The sun is going down, the smell of smoked grilled meats, the aroma of, of people drinking and laughing and playing with their dogs. Uh, various sports and skateboarding and scootering behind me. But uh, stay tuned for more episodes. Also, I'm going to be dropping an album this uh, late spring, early summer called The Monarch. Look for it at www.officialcollyraw.com. And special thanks to Dennis behind the camera for letting me do this. Just leaving Black Scintilla. I bought that dress because I absolutely had to and I'm going to wear it to my next show. Um, if you are interested, I'm a musician here in Oklahoma. You can look up Catlock. I have a song on Spotify, iTunes, pretty much anywhere with a search bar. And you can like my page on Facebook, Catlock Music. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much to Uncovering Oklahoma for having me. If you would like to know more about shopping in Midtown, you can scroll below or wherever it's going to be for links and come spend a day in Midtown. <laughs> <laughs>